from Spec Pond, <clears throat> which is where I camped last evening. It was beautiful. I went for a swim, even though it was really cold. This is the highest alpine lake in the state of Maine. It's huge, too. Anyway, today I have 4.6 miles. I hope they're kinder than yesterday's so that I can get to Grafton Notch for pickup by the cabin hostel that's in Andover, Maine, but they pick up both in Grafton Notch and Andover. And I'm hopefully going to be staying there a few days to slack pack and maybe take a zero day after yesterday's hike. Um, and this morning I can tell my body really needs a rest. It's been, you know, about a week, which is time, um, especially in New Hampshire and Maine territory. I am looking forward to today's hike, and I'm looking forward to a bed, shower, laundry, and a home-cooked meal from Marge, the hostel owner, who's 91 and sharp as a tack. I cannot wait to hear her stories. Good morning, Maine. Oh my. I should have had two cups of coffee. Oh, it's a little early for this, don't you think, Maine? Oh, you're beautiful. Man, you are rugged. Oh, got this. Yeah, so that's the trail. It's like that TV show, The Floor is Lava. It's like the trail is boulders. Uh, climbing up Old Speck Mountain, so I imagine it'll be this way for a while. It's okay. It's slow going. Man, it sure is pretty, though. That's where I gotta go, up to the clouds. Thankfully the rock looks a little rough, so it should be a little grippy. Just gotta figure out, uh, gotta get up there fast before I slip. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm part way, or most of the way up, Old Speck Mountain. Uh, very windy, but for my long sleeves. Uh, it's beautiful up here, as you can see. The sun is trying to break through, the clouds are puffy. Uh, I got a little bit further to go and I'll show you the view from the top. Let's do it. Here I am, pretty close to the peak of Old Spec. The summit's actually a blue blaze, so I will not be taking it. Uh, it's beautiful up here, the clouds are so cool. I'm in the clouds. Pretty awesome. They are moving fast. I'm gonna try to get a time lapse, see if that works. I haven't done this in a while, but I look down and I see these two triangular kind of rocks with like a layer in between. And all I can think of is a sandwich. It's a dirt sandwich and I'm like, ooh, grilled cheese sandwich tuna fish sandwich. I gotta get to town and get some food. This is getting bad. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. The things you see on the trail. My little baby, why are you in the mud? You're just a little one. You're supposed to be on the sunny rock. Come on. Go on, buddy. Yeah. Go on. There you go. I don't want to step on you. I have about three miles and change to get to the road crossing for Grafton Notch. And I actually have to call in about two miles from the trail because there's no reception at the trailhead. Uh, which puts me in a position of, oh my God, they're going to be waiting at the trailhead for me because they think I'm like a normal paced hiker and I'm pretty slow. But if it's easy terrain, I should be okay. Not sure how that's going to be. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I got laughing about my sandwich, uh, rock I thought looked like a sandwich because shortly after that I passed a similar rock and it had moss growing out from in between and I thought of lettuce like in a sandwich. I have got to get some town food. I am about 0.3 miles from my pickup point and, oh, my ears are popping. I came down the mountain pretty quickly, I guess. Um... I got interrupted before when I was talking about my freaking hiker hunger. Um, and as I'm sitting here and it's lunchtime, I'm like, oh man, I don't know if this, this shuttle is going to stop. I do need a resupply, but mainly I need some freaking lunch. Dinner and breakfast are included while I'm paying extra for them at the hostel, which is awesome. I can't wait to have a 
family style dinner. Um, I know another hiker that's going to be there and probably some of the other ones that'll end up being there. Uh, it's all you can eat. And some examples I've heard people that have stayed there, it's been like spaghetti and garlic bread, baked chicken, lasagna, like all the comfort foods, biscuits with dessert, of course. And I freaking cannot wait. So there's hunger. I was not feeling well between COVID and Lyme. I probably had them at the same time for almost three weeks, 20, 21 days, 20 days. So close to three weeks. During that time, one of my biggest symptoms was my appetite. Didn't want anything. When I had COVID, I just ate ramen or chicken noodle soup. And when the Lyme really kicked in, I could barely eat anything like one slice of pizza. And I think I'm rebounded and not only have the hiker hunger, I am like trying to make up for lost time. And those of you that know me know I can eat a lot as it is. It's shocking to me the amount of food that I can put away. And even if I don't put it away all at once, I'll be like stuffed. And then like 10 minutes later, I'll just be eating another meal. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, I guess this is the only time in my life this will be feasible. So I'm kind of going to go with it and enjoy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I can't wait, uh, to get some food in my belly. And I totally underestimated my snacks. I thought I had snacks for five days. I ate them all in basically three days. So I got to revamp my resupply strategy and think up some better options and all that. But first I got to get to the road. No way, trail magic? I see some trail magic. 